believe in the next three to four years, Nigeria will be a global leader in artificial intelligence. And that's why I believe that this gathering is important for every young person that is in the room today. Do not consider this event another exciting event where you come, listen to fancy talks. Consider this the beginning of the future that you have to be part of. The world and the Nigeria that we need to see is our collective responsibility. It is a Nigeria where technology gives us the opportunity to create tremendous value. What the world is seeing and as an explosion in digital advancement is simply a confluence between application of digital talents together with technological talent to unleash the world of innovation in the world. Today, what everybody is talking about in terms of digital technology and application for business, in my view, you are simply copying and pasting from what Zenit has recorded 33 years ago. In the future, any company that will be relevant either has to be a technology company or a company using technology to deliver its unique sector-based products and services. That is why in Zenit, we see ourselves as a technology company with a banking license. The same thing we expect that in other sector, apart from you keeping your core mandate, for you to be relevant tomorrow, you must infuse a higher content of technology into your business. Technology and its disruptions are quite brutal. They are unkind. They are putting to solve the what you call conventional methods and systems. And the kind of disruption they are causing are irreversible. It's a question of you either running on the platform of technology or you are gradually going into a system. Which solutions that will resolve a lot of our complex issues that will help sorting and evolve a new tomorrow for our country. In here are the innovators of the world. The world is waiting for you. Zenit Tech Fair has provided this platform. Go out there and let's take the opportunity and let's utilize it. Four G, five G, fiber. Because if you have no connectivity, there's no use of AI. Because your data cannot be transmitted to the cloud, and there's no help from the cloud be transmitted to you. So therefore, having the right connectivity and the computing power as a foundation is very essential. As the collaboration landscape evolves between fintech, e-commerce, and SMEs, as an OEM, as a technology consumer, institution, or individual, or as a regulator, what are we doing to ensure that we bring inclusiveness? Today, if you go through the GDP of the country, it's reported that ICT is accounting for 18%. But if you look at the potential that we have in terms of the digital economy, is expected that if we drive it as seriously, ICT should be uh, contributing in the next two to three years, not less than 25%. But it begins with what every one of us will do here. Hongab has about 4 million customers today. The Nigerian population is over 200 million. So I, I don't think we've even scratched the surface and, and, and there's such a long way to go before we, we say we have truly captured the Nigerian population means you are developing solutions for an active and varied market and not just for uh, a narrow segment. Today, the Verve Network has over 50 million cards. There are over 270 members, member institutions that have invested in technology, in operations and all of that. You cannot just, that will not fizzle away very easily. And that's why cards will continue to be something that will be relevant in the Over 200,000 POS terminals in Nigeria, and most of them support NFC payment that um, drive unique identification and due diligence. First of them is the bank verification number. I'm sure almost everybody has a BVN, right? So NIBS drives that infrastructure that supports BVN by uniquely linking the identity of each customer to the accounts that they have. 
operating within the system. Sure. Contactless acceptance is growing across sub Saharan Africa and it will continue to grow. The world has been on in AI transformation and a data transformation for at least 20 years. I know this because at Microsoft we have been working with organizations like those of you in this room to build AI capabilities long before it even became popular in the world today. Microsoft is the largest player within the space of data and AI transformation in the world today. We extended our strength in that area through our partnership with OpenAI to build large language models into every single Microsoft technology that runs in the world and make it available for all our customers. Every type of eruption, like the FinTech eruption that we have seen in Nigeria or across Africa, comes with risk. Um, technology and innovation is going very rapidly and us as regulators need to keep up with those innovations. That we successfully managed to have the largest technology startup exhibition in the world. Congratulations, Tribe Pay, you walk away with a goodie bag and 10 million naira. The winner of the Zekathon for 2023, brought to you by Zenith Bank PLC, is, is Sink. Sink. Congratulations, Congratulations to Sink. Congratulations to you. 20 million naira for your business courtesy Zenith Bank PLC.